it's never enough for the comic book SJWs. Uh, the mainstream industry is really upset with me. Uh, my coverage of what's going on in comics has gotten really, really big. And when I had Mark Miller on just talking about his comics, you know, they, they, they start to seethe. And so I was mass reported to Kickstarter, as you guys are probably aware if you watch the channel. If you don't, um, well, I was mass reported to Kickstarter and they banned me after having a very, very successful project in the Emerald Emperor. Uh, I'm sorry, the Emerald, the I, the, ah, I, I will learn to talk. I'll cut this out, guys. I'm, I'm combining my two books, um, The Hidden Emperor. And uh, that made $50,000, got about 700 backers. And, you know, if, if you don't know, for a Kickstarter project, that is one of the, like, top 5% of projects, maybe maybe top 1%. And so uh, they didn't like that. They don't, they don't want my books to catch on in the mainstream industry. Over at Kickstarter, the guy who runs uh, uh, the comics right now is uh, from Boom Studios. He's one of them. Hey, he blocked me on X immediately, so I couldn't even... You know, question why I was blocked. They just said it was a violation of community standards, and I know what that means. Uh, that that's a, that's code for the fact that they don't like the fact that I'm a vocal Christian online and that I'm starting a comic movement opposing the mainstream comic industry. Uh, and of course, all Kickstarter's left with is corporate comics and porn. <laughs> I'm dead serious. If you go to their comic section, it's a disaster, and they don't have a lot of normal comics that are made for normal people anymore, um, and they don't want those to get successful anymore. Uh, because it's not part of the agenda. So they're trying to cancel me again as I've moved to fund my comic. And this is where I'm at right now with my new Emerald Array book. And we had a huge, huge opening, guys. Uh, for a alternative platform, um, I just got to say, like, getting 150 backers in two days is amazing. This has done absolutely fantastic. I was not expecting it to do this well. Um, and it's all because of readers like you. Now, we've built a beautiful science fiction uh, book here in a science fiction world. This is a classic pulp-style spacemen versus the evil alien demon bugs out there uh, who are harassing humanity, and uh, they need to rescue humanity from that. And, of course, I made a team of all strong male leads to do this uh, in the Emerald Array. And I've uh, listened to you guys. And so I, I gave this to some beta readers up front. They said, this is the comic we've been looking for. It's got a 1970s aesthetic with like some Jack Kirby style art to it. Uh, it. We're bringing it back. We are bringing back the classics. We're doing everything we can to make science fiction fun again. And I urge you to come in on this and back our project, guys, uh, because, you know, we're dealing with cancel culture and we're building some beautiful books in the process. And, uh, you know, this is our, what, 13th, 14th graphic novel. I'm losing track. <laughs> and uh, we deliver, and we deliver great books, and the Terran Imperium is definitely where it's at for the future. So grab this book. Uh, it works by itself, or there's a whole Terran Imperium catch-up pack on here. You can read all the books. It's just great, too. It's in the description below. Thank you guys so much uh, for the tremendous support so far. If you're new to the channel, this is going to be a 66-page graphic novel, so you get uh, a really nice full-length uh, graphic novel here for you as well. And uh, I appreciate you all for being here. Okay, so the Cancel Pigs came back. And uh, as I launch this campaign to success, it's not enough that I've been banned from Kickstarter. They want me banned everywhere. They want me silenced. Uh, they want my opinions on culture silenced. They they want my art just like just they don't want people to be able to read it. It, it really scares them because I am the real deal and they know it. And so uh, Luke Stone, who runs Fund My Comic here, received a message calling me a fascist, a racist, etc., saying that I'm that he's platforming hate, the usual, right? The SJWs in comics weren't satisfied that uh, because the Kickstarter ban didn't uh, seem to slow me down. <laughs> it didn't seem to deter any backers. Uh, it, 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 uh, it didn't do anything. And they don't want that. The whole point is life ruination, right? They, they want me not to be able to put food on the table for my family, to not have a career in comics. That's the goal. They want to silence anybody. They want no alternatives in comics. They want no art uh, out there that doesn't uh, you know follow their little woke narrative. Uh, and that's their whole deal. But this is how based Luke Stone is, and this is why I'm all in on Fund My Comic. This is why I'm supporting it. This is why you should definitely come in and support on Fund My Comic. Uh, look at what he says here. He says, I'm committed to my word and to the Fund My Comic TOS. We will occasionally receive a message voicing concern about a creator or project that's allowed to fund using our platform. This is the basic response we give them 99% of the time. And this is how he responded to that troll attacking me. 
Thank you for expressing your concern. However, we do not regulate or monitor creators' behaviors outside of our platform. Whether we agree with a creator's conduct off-platform does not impact their ability to use our services. The oversight is limited to the content that's posted on the shared on our platform. The campaign in question, that's mine, has been thoroughly reviewed by our administration has not been found to violate our terms of service. Yeah, of course not. It's just a standard comic book. And that's 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 why Kickstarter has a problem. Like, I mean, that's why they can't say anything and just remove the the project itself. They have to go at me uh, because they know that there's nothing here to violate the terms of service. I don't even say anything that edgy. But the thing is, like, I'm a very vocal Christian. I'm not silent about things. I'm not scared uh, to say the controversial things uh, that, uh, you know, are out there that, you know, the LGBTQ lifestyles are sinful. Uh, they are against what God designs. And, uh, and a lot of people are afraid to say that kind of thing. And they, that's what they do. They try to instill fear in you that you're going to get your platform removed, that you're going to get destroyed over that uh, to force it, right? It is evil. What, what they're doing is truly fascist. That, that is the definition of fascism. Uh, the content provided is benign in nature. That's right. and does not contain any material we would consider offensive based on the campaign submissions. We uphold three fundamental principles for all creators and artists who use our platform. One, we respect their freedom of expression. While creators may produce content that we or others might not personally agree with or enjoy, as long as they adhere to our established guidelines, they have the right to express themselves freely and allow supporters to show their backing. Second, we believe in creators' right to independence. This is why we do not engage with policing behavior, what is presented in the campaign page. Last week, we are committed to building trust with both creators and backers. If this campaign passes our review process and is approved, it will remain active unless it violates our policies. We respect your perspective and encourage you to use your own platform to share your views if you believe this creator poses a concern. However, we will re uh, adhere to the terms of service and will not take any action against this or any creator based on conduct uh, outside of our platform. In conclusion, he basically said, buzz off, SJW. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. He says, sometimes we get pressed on the matter, have to include clarification. We will only deplatform someone if they're using our service to commit crimes verified by a legal agency. Some people do not like that. It's okay. We will protect them if the tables ever turn. So there it goes. Uh, and it's great. I'm glad to be protected. I'm glad that I have this here. And I'm glad that people are coming in on this. Uh, the Emerald Array is a wonderful project. And it is born out of listening to you. You wanted a strong male lead team. Uh, this is read, led by Lieutenant Lansing here. Lieutenant Lansing is your gruff alpha male who's uh, in charge, and he kicks ass. Uh, and he is uh, he's unabashedly Catholic. Uh, he is uh, he's stalwart. He is he is the rock of our team. He's got a team of uh, of course uh, Olson, Perello, and uh, and Richards, and those guys are following his lead. And they've all got their unique personality traits, uh, doing wonderful things. And so this is our Space Marine team. They're an elite squad. Uh, we have four covers to choose from. We have uh, Jeff Lastly, who's doing an interior book with me, a different book. Uh, beautiful art right there. We have our wonderful meme cover. I'm doing my part. Uh, uh, you know, of course, uh, you guys might be familiar with that meme. It's a lot of fun by our interior artist. He does great work there. Got little Timmy with some trigger discipline. Very funny. We have Rod Espinosa, who did our cover for The Hidden Emperor as well. He's got our pilot in space uh, chilling out there, uh, enjoying himself. And then we have Mike S. Miller's beautiful variant cover uh, uh, with it. We're watching the Emerald Array. And of course, I, yeah, look, with Ayla Rain, we threw on the cover because she's pretty. That's all. <laughs> that's, that's why it works. So the other books are Overmind, and this is the first Ayla Rain book. We've got a novel, The Immortal Edge, which you can also get on Amazon if you want to check out just the novel. Um, and we've got The Hidden Emperor, still in fulfillment. And then we've got Into the Black, a novel that was paired with The Hidden Emperor campaign. And uh, that's the whole series. So it's awesome. I love this retro style art. Like I said, we we chose Jack Kirby style art very intentionally uh, with the very like hard geometric shapes. I love what he did in the 70s, especially with the fourth world stuff. Um, and we chose a color scheme, which was bright and poignant like the 70s. Uh, we we uh, we went with a, a flat color scheme and, and tried to actually like kind of uh, use a filter to make it look like it's a retro sort of thing as well. Uh, it looks awesome. Um, I absolutely love the design of this. Um, and we're bringing things back. This is exactly what we're trying to do. People tell me it looks like a Saturday morning cartoon they used to watch. And this is intentional uh, because, you know, the, the G.I. Joe, the Transformers, this was fun. Uh, and that style of art was fun. And, and that's what we want to bring to you. So check this out, guys. 
It's a very, very classic story. You're going to love this. Uh, this is a wonderful place to get in on my work. And uh, they tried to cancel us, but they can't stop the signal, Mal. They can't stop the signal. I love it. Thank you, Luke Stone, for giving us a wonderful platform uh, that is safe to use. And we appreciate all of you for supporting us. We'll be back soon. Grab it in the description below.